partner who only told him for over 50 years now. And it's a relationship that I'm incredibly proud of because in this business, to last that long, you really got to stick it out through thick and thin. It's, it can uh, eat you up and spit you up. But I have to say we're stronger and closer than we were when we first met. And we were pretty close then. So I'm really proud of that. And I love writing songs with him because he's a great storyteller. And the way we write songs is this. A how we write them. He gives me a lyric. I go away into another room. I close the door. I sit at the piano. I look at the title. And then I start reading the lyric. And as I'm reading, a little movie comes into my mind because of the story he's trying to tell. And by the end, I kind of know what kind of tempo the song will be, what kind of genre the music might be. And I put my hands on the keyboard and I hope for the best. And, uh, so far from you. Lord knows how I'm working it out. This next lyric is five pages long. And I went, oh god, this is a two and a half hour movie, what am I going to do? <laughs> but I love the lyrics so much that I decided to uh, divide the song into three parts. And I'm glad I finished it because it tells of the demise of the Native American Red Indian. And it's one of my favorite songs from the album, Mad Man Across the Border.